So boys all come back in really good nick, um, both from a running point of view, um, strength point of view, and, and their body composition point of view. So testing that we do uh, and, and skin folds body composition that we look at is more for us to individualize the program and, and to get a gauge on how, how quickly we can go into football. Basically the, de the demands of those football drills that we can place on the players in terms of um, the increments that we can build those players through. For us getting into pretty hard simulated breakdown drills was a non-issue in that first week. Last year was the first year that I took over the program. My philosophy was around football fitness versus running fitness. So last year was more generic in terms of the template that we use for the football conditioning drills. Whereas this year it's, it's working a lot more heavily with the coaches to actually separate the players in the specific roles that they'll be playing. Most of the, the football conditioning component of the program that we do is, is very much guided towards 1v1. Um, as I say, putting the players up against um, other players that are going to compete for their spots. It's in front of myself, the other conditioning coaches, all, all the other coaches and all the other players, so there's, there's nowhere to hide and players will either become more resilient and, and go to the next level for it or, or they'll raise the white flag and, and, and we'll see if they're capable of playing Collingwood football. For the first few weeks, those young boys are very much graduated. Again, other things will come into play. Um, players with previous uh, injury history or the durability of players that we know that they can handle more, more training lows and then obviously allowing for players that are settling into their second and third year into the club where they're a little bit more hard and, and can actually um, withstand more training loads than what they did in previous years so our whole aim is to individualise the programme as much as possible across the whole list. Uh, Monday I'm looking forward to hopefully the young boys really um, throwing down the gauntlet to the older boys. Uh, I think they'll be pleasantly surprised where, where they're at from a condition point of view and from a, a football sharpness point of view. Uh, I think the competitive juices are flowing and getting so close last year to, you know, to winning the ultimate has it's probably pushed those young boys to think I want a piece of that, I want to, I want to be involved in finals, I want to play in, in big games and I, I want to be in the 22 every week so it's going to be a really interesting dynamic when the, when the older boys come back to see how they handle that.